What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin, and I am going to be your virtual coach. From Diego to the Bay. From Diego, Diego, the the Bay. Diego, Diego, the the Bay. This all good. From the this all good. From the this all good. From Diego to the Bay. From Diego. Gonna be like this the whole time. Who wants to be? It's not even focusing. Come on now. So as you guys see on the title, today is the start of the increased bench program. Um, super excited for it. I've been last program was like get my arms bigger. You guys saw that. The free program, I'll put a link down below. But in terms of the bench program, I have always had a goal, always, for my whole life. That's why when I gained up to 250, I was like, it's close to hit 405 on the bench. It's always been my goal. What I'm gonna do and what I'll show on the board in a second is Doing an increased bench program for me, also for you guys, once I'm done with this program, I'll do the same thing I did with the arm program. I'll release exactly what I did, and then I'm gonna document everything I'm doing up until that point. So 405, my goal is to bench 405 by 405, by April 5th, 2019. Out of there, in terms of a goal, way out of there, but I wanna do it, I'm super committed, I'm super focused, and I think it's gonna provide a lot of you guys, you know, value and seeing kind of what I do, like my goal is this, and then how do I approach it? I'm gonna document everything, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to begin the structure of my uh, bench program, and then hopefully you guys get some value from that. And then I think you guys do all these videos, what I eat, different exercises, obviously not just the bench press, but other exercises to help you with the bench press. I'm gonna document all I do to help me increase my bench press, and then I'm gonna put it here on uh, YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, to try to help you guys out. And uh, that's gonna be the theme for the next, you know, six, eight, 12 weeks, is how to increase your bench press. Or if you're trying to increase your squat or your deadlift, maybe you can grab some things that I'm using in this program, in this phase, like the mental part or the stretching or the, I don't know if I'm gonna do yoga, but I gotta do, I have to stretch more guys. That is one weakness of mine, is I gotta stretch and I have to warm up. So in these next videos, you'll probably see a lot of me doing some warm ups and some stretching. If it's important, do it every day. So hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you in the next clip. So guys, so before I go ahead and hit out the 405 by 405 program, I posted on my Instagram the other day. I don't man, I could screen shoot this. So I posted on my Instagram the other day, are you happy? And I asked this to my audience on Instagram um, to really figure out like, are you happy? You know, I really want to know if my audience is happy, if they're feeling good, if they're hitting their goals, stuff like that. 82% yes and 18% said no. Alright? So out of 67 people said yes, 15 people said no, and out of those 15 people, I ask why. You know, I also post that later in my story, I'm like, why? You know, I think when we ask ourselves the questions, why are we not happy, It's it starts a good process. One, yes, it could be depressing, it could be sad, it's like, you know, why don't I have, I'm not happy, right? But once we start to have that conversation with ourselves, we start talking in between our own, our own ears, um, we start to realize, A, Maybe I can control this. If I'm like, I'm not happy because I don't know, well then I don't know what in what direction to step in order to fix why I'm not happy. Um, so I did something to change it. I try to become really good at football to make it to the pros and they get a lot of money. However, senior year, fractured my neck, that came to a halt. And uh, But throughout that process, I learned so much about health and fitness. And so I knew, I didn't know a lot about school, I was not a good student, but I just went all in on something. And that was working out, my physical appearance, my athleticism. Um, and I feel like it's just you need the steps. And I just feel like you need to ask yourself why in order to take that first step. So I just wanted to bring that out. I posted on Instagram the other day and I just wanted to share it here. Maybe you're in a situation in your life right now where you're not happy and maybe just think about why you're not happy and maybe that can help. So now we're gonna go on to the 405 by 405 increase your bench program. Obviously you see here on the calendar, from now until 405, now until April 5th, there is one, two, 14, 15, 16, about 16 weeks, all right? So this is how I, be, this is how I pretty much make plans, all right? This is how I make programs based off of 
you know, people's goals, based on my goals, based on clients' goals. And I start off with, all right, what do we want to accomplish and when do we want to accomplish it by? I did an Instagram post the other day that talked about the four main things that has to go into any world-class training program. The first thing, I'm waiting for this truck to go by. It's going to ruin the audio. I already know it. I live on a street that's pretty busy and they're doing construction. And it's like seven in the morning and they're out there. Do, 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 do. I'm like right here, like in the next room. And I'm like sleeping. I just hear, do, 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 do. I'm just like, oh, scares the shit out of me. Um, car's gone. So, 16 weeks. I posted on my Instagram the other day about the four things that any program should have. Number one thing is that it's purpose driven. All right? If you don't have a purpose driven plan, like my goal, my purpose is to bench 405 by 405. Some people's purpose is to lose fat. Some people's purpose is to gain muscle. But you gotta have a purpose. Right now, it's 405 to 405, baby. The second thing I said in the post was that it has to be passion filled. So obviously, as you guys know, I love bench press. That's like one of my favorite movements is bench press. So um, there's a lot of passion in it. Again, I've always wanted to hit as a life goal to hit 405. So it's a lot of passion for me. I'm purpose driven and I'm passion filled. The third thing I said in order to make a good program is it has to be principle based. So yes, you have a purpose. Yes, you have a passion. But if there's no principle based, like if I just bench every day, that's not going to be beneficial. That's not going to be efficient. If I don't follow the basic principles of you know the nutrition, the recovery, then I'm not going to get the results of 405. So I still got to be smart, right? I still got to have a purpose, got a passion, but I got to be principle based. My foundation has to be principle based or just it won't work, all right? And the fourth thing I said in the post was plan carefully, all right? Plan it out carefully. So as I go in by week by week that you guys are about to see is that I I'm gonna plan it out carefully, right? Like let's say if I, I'm doing this bench press program for 16 weeks, four or five, if I know that I'm going on vacation from like March 1st to March 15th, well that's gonna screw with me. So if I plan this all out, but I also know I'm going on vacation, you know what I mean? So plan carefully. If you're playing a sport, plan carefully. If you are knowing you're going on a work trip or you know that you and your family are going on vacation, just plan carefully for your goals. You wanna be able to hit your goals. You don't wanna set a goal and not hit it. So plan carefully, make sure that it's purpose driven, make sure that it's passion filled, make sure that you are principle based, the foundation of your program is based off of principles. And then the fourth thing, is that just make sure you're playing carefully. You don't wanna hurt yourself, you don't wanna not hit your goal, so plan carefully. So let's start. Pretty much I have everything that you need in a workout program is the time frame of when you wanna hit your goal, the volume, both rep ranges, and how much you're training per that week. Like how many times a day are you training in that week? Two, three, four. Uh, this is just for the 405. So everything else, when it says two or three times, that's just for the bench press or just for what I'm doing here. And then intensity. So how intense, what percentage of your max are you going? How many, you know, are you doing 70% for three? Are you doing it a very low intensity? Or for me, obviously this, I'm trying to increase, build muscle, so I'm going very high intensity, about 70, 75, and I'm gonna go over this in a second, but this is pretty much the basis of the 405 by 405. All right, so pretty much just to explain all this, week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's how many weeks until 4.05, till April 5th. My rep ranges for those weeks are right here. So I'm planning it out, I'm prepping it out. This is how I'm gonna increase. Now these are my numbers, do not use these same numbers. Everything else you can use. My numbers are my numbers. I recommend you putting in your numbers. Right here is pretty much where I'm at right now. I can hit 270 for about 10 to 12. Pretty much plug your numbers in there and then go based off of your numbers of the starting number. So rep range 10 to 12 first week. Second week, bump up to eight to 12. As you can see in the first two weeks, I'm only going, I'm only hitting that bench press two times per week. So maybe it's a Monday, Thursday, maybe Tuesday, Friday. You know, as long as I'm giving myself enough rest for the next um, you know, bench press workout, I'm cool. Because I'm doing a lot of reps, doing high, uh, high intensity, so I wanna give it a longer time for it to uh, recover. Then on week three, four, I go up to reps, or go down to rep six, all right? Five, six, week five and six, go down to five, five reps, and then pretty much every two weeks, I go down one rep. So for two weeks, I'm doing the same rep ranges. I'm practicing that rep range. I'm trying to increase 
my intensity, my weight for those two weeks. So starting on week three, I hit bench press three times a week. So, you know, three times a week here for six reps, three times a week here for six reps. Six different workouts within a matter of two weeks that would be hitting six reps. So that's a lot still, because I'm going high intensity, still a lot of, you know, volume, a lot of intensity on your chest that should be able to help you build muscle. Now, as you look into week 9, 10, 11, you start to see the rep ranges go to like 3, then to 2, then to 1. So by week 13, 13, 14, 15, and 16, I have my 1 rep maxes. Now, this is going to give me enough time, 13, 14, 15 weeks, that is a long time to be doing something focused um, and trying to improve it. So I have all my numbers here. This is my plan. Um, again, what I focused on was time frame here, volume, both in rep ranges and how many times am I training that muscle or that exercise or whatever that week. Um, and then intensity. What's my percentage of my one rep max? What am I hitting? And I pretty much just change it up every two weeks. So I hope this helped you. If you're trying to increase your bench, uh, use this program template. Um, I definitely believe it will work. I know it will work. It's worked for me. It's worked for my clients. It's worked for pretty much anyone I've given this program to um, in order to increase their bench. Now, before I say that, because I was hesitating a little bit, I'm not saying you're going to be able to hit 405. The numbers are based off of you. Those are custom, but everything in here in the middle, um, you know, you could use that's going to help increase your bench press. Hope that helped you, and I hope you have now a better grasp, a better grip on how to make a program if you're trying to increase your bench press. So. thing for me was pushing but I think I'm getting that part down it's turning on the long boards pretty pretty easy but oh, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> God, you guys would laugh so hard if you saw me doing this right now so now we go work out real quick while my clothes are drying two oh three Uh, I swear that guy touched you a little bit. He said he didn't, but if I watch that video again, I'm sure he did. Um, it just felt too easy. It felt too easy. So I think he touched that, but it's all right. 3.30, I feel like I ought to hit that anyway. Um, now just boarding home. Hopefully I don't get hit by any cars. Mom, I love you in case I do. Just kidding.
probably end my day there. This will probably be the end of the video, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching, guys.